Hello everyone, and this is another update. I mean, just update on Unity 3D. Uh, reverse the time uh, example. So let's have a look at what we have now. So I added here a sliders for other objects in the game, in a, your example or in my project, whatever. So if I hit play button, so let's have a look. Our player is doing this action. Then we're gonna fall down. Okay, now we hit T button and now we can control. Our player is getting back. Cube is getting back. And... Uh, yeah, it's getting back. And this cube is also getting back. Okay, now let's make our player do it again. You can see that... Mm, actually, it's not controlled by physics, so it's controlled by time, only by time. You can see that I can remove this object, but it's working good anyway. So let's let's just let's just try it again. So we hit play button. Let jump, pew 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 pew. Okay, T button. Now let's uh, let's make our guy go back. So he's jumping, he's jumping. Let's cube go back. Let's this cube go back. So you can see it's working pretty pretty good, right? So we can make our time stop, right? And we can actually Okay, now we can't move anymore because we are Oh hey What's up? Hold a second, let's make it go back. So this is just incredible incredible how you, you, you can play with time here. So you can just freeze time and then make it go back. Like this. You can make player freeze okay <laughs> that's all guys thanks for watching this video have a good time bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next episode of something very interesting oh my god how many errors i have here oh so many errors oh no let's 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 uh, activate more cubes let's make this cube also let's just add rigid body let's add Mm, uh, time rememberer script it's going to be one two three four let's add also this one time remember five and rigid body of course rigid body then okay let's just make this well you're not so huge with me just make it smaller because it will make my system lag Choo. of course this is extremely expensive for your CPU because it remembers all the positions of every object but it's really raw example it's just a concept let's have a look at it again you can see that you know the time uh, you know here and here they you know the time is coming faster because I have less uh, frames time frames for Listen, so let's just, okay, now, oh, why I'm so slow? Okay, let's just hit T button and now we, we can play with our cubes. Okay, time go back, time go forward. Actually, we haven't touched cubes. Let's let's try to increase number of frames for this object. Ah, it's game window. Let's make it like this. Let's make them all equal. Equal. Democracy, equality. Hey. We are all the same. Okay, now it's much better. Now let's hit T button and now, now we can control player. We can control 
time for player, we can control time for cube number one, cube number two, cube number three, cube number four. Actually, yeah, four. So you can see this example is pretty, pretty raw. It's just a concept concept but it's working nice I guess yeah guys thanks for watching this video have a good time bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye 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 bye